These children left Amran after Houthi fighters took over the city. They live in this small room with their mother Aisha. She feels lucky that her relatives could give them a roof over their heads. We were living in an area in the middle of the fighting between the Yemeni army and Houthis. We were in the centre of the terror, but we've managed to get out. Yemen's government says 35,000 people have been forced out of their homes by the fighting. Relief workers say the number is much higher. Many are living in difficult conditions in schools like this one in the capital, Sana'a. Classrooms are now places to stay, with desks or floor mats to sleep on. Some of the displaced told Al Jazeera that it gets cold at night and all they have for warmth are plastic bags collected during the day. We don't have any furniture here, we have no blankets, we don't have any proper toilets and nobody cares about us, except some charitable people. When it's time to break the daily Ramadan fast, there isn't always enough for everyone to eat. And they haven't seen any support from the government. Some say they're too proud to go out to seek help. I'm not going to complain to anybody except God, but the state should be the one looking after us. Yemen's military has lost control of northern Amran and there are reports of heavy fighting in Al Jof province, where tribesmen are resisting the rebels' advance. The mostly Shia Houthis are demanding more rights for the Zaydi sect. They say their fight is against Al-Qaeda-linked fighters and an unjust government. President Abdurrabu Mansur Hadi's government insists that Houthis are trying to terrorize Sunni tribesmen who are defending their lands. He accuses Iran of supporting the Shia fighters. Yemen's military is also fighting other hardline groups, including the so-called Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. But both the Al-Qaeda-linked Sunni fighters and Yemen's army are against the Shia Houthi fighters. And for those forced out of their homes due to the ongoing fighting, all they can do is pray for peace. Osama bin Javid, Al Jazeera.